Hello and welcome back to spiderworking.com's video cast. Now, in the past, we've shown you a couple of different ways you can feed your blog directly into your Facebook page using applications such as Facebook's own Net Notes application and the Networked Blogs application. But we've had a few inquiries recently about feeding your YouTube page directly into your Facebook page. So we went and investigated. We went on to Quora, which for any of you that don't know is a new question and answers social network and you can find out more below by following the link. And we asked a few people there and the one that kept coming back was RSS Graffiti. So we thought we'd check it out for you. So today I'm going to show you how it works and I'm also going to show you the disadvantage of using an application to do all this work automatically for you. But first let's have a look at how it works. Go into Facebook and type RSS Graffiti in the search box at the top. And this is the page that you'll find from that search, RSS Graffiti. Now just underneath the logo click Add to My Page. And this will open up a box containing all the page that you're an admin on. Choose the one that you'd like to add the application to and then just click Close. Once you've done this go to your page. Scroll down and underneath your logo click Edit Page and from the left hand sidebar menu choose Apps, A-P-P-S. Then scroll down until you find RSS Graffiti in the applications and the first thing we want to do is uh, remove the tab, it will have automatically set a tab and we don't need that yet. So to do that we click Edit Settings and click Remove next to Tab. Now if we go back and click go to application and this brings you into the main interface the first thing you need to do is authorize the application and you do that by clicking the button here and that will bring you through the normal interface to authorize an app and you'll need to do this three times you'll need to do it for yourself and you'll need to do it for your page and eventually when you've clicked all the right buttons it will appear green configured. Now to find the RSS feed that you need to put in here on your YouTube channel, go to YouTube and you'll see if you use a Firefox browser, every time you arrive on a page that has an RSS feed you'll see this little orange box at the top and you can just copy what's in the address bar and that will be your RSS feed. If you don't or you can't use Firefox, you can use this link. So if you want to copy this down and where it says spider working is where you'd want to put your own YouTube username and I've put a link to that at the bottom as well. So now you go back into your RSS Graffiti and click add feed, scroll down and you type the feed or paste the feed address in the bottom here and click preview just to make sure you've got the right feed coming in and you're happy enough. And when you are happy with that you just click save at the top. And this will mean that your YouTube channel will auto feed into your Facebook page. And you can do this with any RSS feed. So RSS Graffiti is undeniably a great application. It brings all your feeds into one spot and publishes them to Facebook. But there is a disadvantage, as I mentioned earlier. And if you have a look at this screen grab, you'll see what it is. Now, if a number of different users are using the same application, when it appears on the Facebook news feed, it recognises that there's a number of posts coming from the same source, whether it's an application, a page or a person. And when it sees this, it collates them and you get something like what's appearing on this screen. See more posts from RSS Graffiti. Now, if that second post there was a post from my page, I'd be quite upset that people weren't seeing it. So this is something to bear in mind when you're using automated tools or any application on Facebook, whether it's RSS Graffiti or one of those that we've recommended in the past. Well, that's it for this week. Hope to see you again next week. Bye.